So if I compare what I used to fly with, ADS-B, and now Sirius XM Weather, the most striking difference to me is the reliability and the ever-presence information that Sirius XM Weather gives me. My name is Rick Bossart, and I have a private pilot license, single engine land, IFR, as well as about 1,800 hours of flying time. I fly from Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, California. I use Sirius XM Weather because I think that you need to be as fully up to speed and safe as possible when you're flying these planes. And so I like it because it tells me what's going on any given moment, either where I am or where I'm going. And I can make informed decisions on where to land or where not to land and which direction to go and what altitude to fly at. I have in the past used ADS-B weather, but I find that it does not come in as quickly as Sirius XM weather does, and it's often not reachable. So I default the G3X Touch to Sirius XM weather because I know it's always going to be there and I know it's always going to be within a few minutes. Especially if you're looking at fronts and precipitation and clouds, you want it to be as you know, current as possible so that you can make informed decisions on what to do. I took off from Rocky Mountain Metro in the Denver area, flew south along the east flank of the Rockies into New Mexico, avoided the big fire that was there, which also had a TFR, and then turned east and went through Albuquerque and into Arizona. So about five and a half hours for about 750 miles, and most of that was without ads -B. So for most of that flight, I relied 100% on Sirius XM weather.